Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lita, I am the creator of Woof and Wonder, a colorful and vibrant brand for dogs and their owners. We mix fun and functionality for gorgeous products that you're gonna use every day for years to come. Today is a super, super busy day. I actually have a consultation in three minutes with Cameron Creative. <laughs> We're gonna discuss copywriting for my social media, for my website, and anything else she can help me with. And also, I'm gonna go on Carrie Fitzgerald's podcast. It's called the Six Figure Product Business Podcast and we're gonna talk all things TikTok. So a lot of people have asked me a lot of questions about TikTok, so I think this is a great opportunity to share what I've learned, the ups, the downs, the mistakes, the good stuff going viral. So I'm really excited to bring you along and let's get to it. I am gonna hop into the meeting and let's go. Thank you for meeting me today. I'm so excited yes, to talk. Me too, I'm glad that we're finally Meeting face to face me is too. really exciting. Thank you. Yeah. Right, right. It's how it's I talk. It's not like the YouTube person. No. What is that size? Like it's like very, yeah. It's exactly. Like, yeah. So as you probably saw, I had an awesome call with Cameron and she does copywriting, all sorts of writing for websites and social media and everything that small businesses need. It was really nice to talk to her. Uh, you just saw a small snippet of our call and mostly what we talked about is how i am looking for basically help with copywriting on social media copywriting for my website little blurbs to describe the business sometimes it's easier to ask someone from the outside looking in to give you their feedback because i want to make sure that what i'm trying to convey in my business is actually getting across without sounding fake without sounding pretentious so it's really important to me to keep authenticity and since most of my days are spent packing orders and until i find a way to streamline that even faster it's really hard for me to sit and concentrate on what i'm going to post on my social media that day it's even harder to plan it for a week ahead of time so I've tried and my brain just can't do it on days. So I thought it's finally time to reach out to someone to help me with that because it's one thing off my mental checklist and I can actually collab with someone and let them know when I have new products, when I have new sales. So if you're a small business and you have the means to find a copywriter who understands the vibe of your business, definitely talk to them and see how they can help you. I've been full time in my business for over two and a half years. So I think this is a good time to kind of have someone help me with the copywriting so I can focus on also creating new products for the future. And I'm really excited. That call was so nice. I can't wait to see what we might create together. So on to the next thing, which is a podcast recording. I'm so nervous. Okay, let's do it. When you're just starting out on TikTok, if you haven't done anything, seeing those businesses explode like in a month and get to 300, you think you think like discuss that too. Like I have a goal in mind for every single video. Volume is my goal, especially if you're just starting out. Like volume is what you want to be doing. So my first name was Loud House because I was like, oh, dogs, the house is loud. You know, my dog throws tantrums. And this was a rookie mistake and maybe people can learn from my mistake, but I was so eager and I jumped in so fast, I didn't research the name, which I should have because it's a very popular, I think it's like a, a Cartoon Network animation. So, <laughs> so I did not expect this much growth, like especially in the last year at all so i'm really it's a surprise to me thank you so much we're in the planning process now all this stuff put like pushed us back a little bit so hopefully next year hopefully next year if we like certain venues that we want to go see this year mm -hmm. you want to crank out as many videos as you can because you want to learn what's working and what's not working and is a certain angle, is a certain type of lighting working. And your customers, you know, the ideally the customers you wanna draw in, 
they're gonna be responding to certain types of videos and you won't know that until you have a lot of examples to learn from. I'm really, really excited because my thank you cards just came in the mail. I was almost out. I think I had like eight of them left. So this is perfect, perfect timing. I, I get them done at Canva. A lot of people don't know that you can actually print things from Canva and the quality is incredible. I don't know if you can see them, but they are so beautiful. I get a glossy, for my thank you cards, I use a postcard size and I do double-sided glossy. And it is, it's beautiful. It's not too flimsy, it's not, not too thick. And you can still write on it with a Sharpie. So if you're thinking about getting new thank you cards, I highly recommend it. I get like 200 at a time because they go fast. And what? Bam. Something that you guys are gonna be seeing for the first time. I'm so excited. I have a seamstress in Colorado and she hand makes all of my bandanas and scrunchies. And she just sent me the spring collection, which is gonna be dog bandanas with matching oversized scrunchies. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, let's look at it. So let's take a look at these. <gasps> oh my God. I want you to get a closer look. So I picked these fabrics out. So these are the scrunchies. And yes, they're oversized. They're like the palm of your hand and they're nice and stretchy, so you'll be able to see the beautiful pattern. And then here's another one. Oh my gosh. And then here's a floral, which was highly requested. <laughs> I'm trying to film a video. Oh my God. You know what? These are the box of scrunchies, and I guess the bandanas, I'm waiting for the second box. I forgot that she shipped me two boxes so i'll let you know when the second box comes in but these are breathtaking it's not too silky so it won't slide off your hair easily which is one of my biggest pet peeves about scrunchies so okay i'm gonna show my instagram these scrunchies and i can't wait to see what they think i got really distracted this afternoon by social media posts um i'm trying this method where I post multiple times to TikTok and my Instagram has kind of been not as like focused on, but I'm still posting there every day if I can, at least uh, five times a week. And I'm trying to post a reel every day. It's been really, really difficult. It takes chunks of time out of my day where I have to stop packing, remind myself to record something and then go back to it. But I'm really, really trying to put in an effort and when the weather is nice and sunny, for some reason it motivates me even more. Uh, and there's good light, so it just looks it just looks better on camera. So I'm trying my best to post maybe two or three TikToks a day. And um, I take little videos. Uh, my method for doing this, especially with my YouTube, is uh, I will set up the camera, make the little the frame look really nice and I'll just do an action, like a packing action or signing thank you cards for a few seconds. And I'll do that throughout the day. And then by the end of the day, I have like a 30 second clip of my day. But obviously YouTube is a little bit more personal. So I just wanna keep this as like a diary of what I've been doing. So currently I think I'm at about 12.7 thousand followers on Instagram. I hope to get that to let's say maybe 15 or 17,000 by the end of the year, just with slow progress. Uh, my TikTok is, or I think it's 24 or 25,000, I'm not quite sure. But my goal for the end of the year is to get that to 50. I'm gonna try really hard and I'm just trying different methods. So the method right now is to post as many videos as possible, uh, including answering comments on TikTok. Uh, you can actually save 
some comments to reply to later and that's an a feature that I'm really going to take advantage of. So I hope it works. I will definitely keep track and keep posting what happens. So, okay, it's time to pack some orders. It is 3.45 in the afternoon, so I'm going to try to hustle, pack as many things as I can, and okay, let's do it. You're on my YouTube. <laughs> and this is Handsome, he's the boss, obviously. <laughs> Some people think that when you go viral, you're gonna get like a gazillion million orders. It's not true. You get a nice amount of orders, but you know, it goes like this. Hi guys. <laughs> 